Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Crafting with Bee. If you're new here, welcome. So glad to have you. And if you're returning, thank you so much for returning. So today I have another Diamond Dots haul from Walmart. A couple of these I think I paid full price for, but then a couple of them I'd actually gotten on clearance. I think this one and this one were $5. Whenever I bought this one, it was the $9.88 or something around there. And the same with this one. But anyway, we are going to open up these, look at them, and see what they're like. I hope you enjoy this video. If you don't mind, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. And I would love to have you as part of the family here. So let's start with this turtle one. I think that this is just so adorable. Um, so there it is. And this knife, this is a little knife. It's in the, looks like a pen. But I had used this to cut cardboard for my grandson. And I think I pretty much ruined the blade on this. So it barely even cuts through this tape. But that's okay. Anyway, we're going to look at this first one. And this one is called Coral Garden. And these are all Diamond Dots canvases. We'll look at those here in just a minute. It's got the toolkit in there. So whenever we look at the drills, we'll look at that. Okay, let's see. Ooh. I think that this one's gonna be so much fun to do. See, like this one. As I said in my other video, some of the Diamond Dots canvases are really, really soft. They've all got a soft backing. But then again, some of them are stiff. Okay, so this is your instruction sheet. Tells you exactly how to diamond paint if you have never diamond painted before. Um, most of the diamond dots that you get from Walmart are going to be partials, which what that means basically is that only certain parts of the canvas are diamond painted. So, we have this gorgeous little turtle and the sea bottom and all that, but the only, this of the sea up here all of this blue right through here is not painted what you're going to be painting is the turtle these little fish right here um and then you've got a fish down here and all the coral reef stuff on the bottom so there is still quite a bit on this to diamond paint you just don't diamond paint this up here. Okay, this has 32 colors in it. Um, I'm not sure if there is any ABs. There might be, but I'm not, I am not certain. So we'll have to look at the drills just to be sure. But isn't that just so pretty? I love this. And this will definitely be going on my wheel to decide when I do it. I'm going to have all of my diamond paintings eventually on my little spin wheel to pick which one I want to do next. <clears throat> okay, so we have our toolkit, which is a typical toolkit. You've got a pen, a squishy pink piece of wax, and a gray boat. Just like the green boats, except it's gray. 
I love the fact that this has got all kinds of bright colors. We got purple and gold. Or actually, yeah, purple and orange. Kind of looks like a gold, though. Okay. And then some pinks, browns, blacks. Shade, two different shades of blue-green. Some different shades of orange. Yellows. A brown. <coughs> a diff several different shades of pink. Purple. And we've got a white, some tan, and green. And then, we've got another row of these. Some blues, yellow, greens, blue greens. Uh, this is kind of a mix between a purple and I don't know, purple and brown. And then a pink, and these are just look like three tins. So anyway, some very nice colors in this. Okay, let's get these folded up so I can put them back in the package. So that they will fit, hopefully. I'm not very good at putting these back in the package, but I will. They are never as neat as they were whenever I took them out. Okay, so we got those. So, this is the first one. So adorable. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and flip this one over. And we are going to go to the next one. And even though this one is just named Black Cat, I'm going to call it, if Stardust had short hair, this would be her. This is exactly what she would look like if she had short hair, which she does not. You can see there's not very many colors in this, but you wouldn't think that there would be. Okay, and these are all very good paintings for people who are beginning in diamond paintings. They are smaller, but they are a good quality painting. See, like this one is a stiffer canvas. It just doesn't make sense to me. Okay, so once again, we have our instruction sheets that tell you exactly how to diamond paint if you need that. We have our drills with the toolkit, which we'll look at those here in just a second. And I'm kind of glad that this one is a partial because you are already going to be doing all of this in dark colors right here. Can you imagine if you had to do 310 or 939 for the entire background? of this painting that would take forever but anyway we've got our cat it looks like she's probably laying on a table or something because there's a slight difference in color between the bottom part and the top part i don't know if you can can you see that in the camera anyway if stardust had short hair this would definitely be her and I have not been showing y'all, but the stick 
on these diamond dots is very good. And I should have been showing you this as well. The drill field, very, very clear. Okay, let's look at these real quick. See what off colors are in a black cap. Okay, once again, typical toolkit, green squishy, pink wax, gray boat, and a pen. And this actually has 11 colors, so not a whole lot, but that looks, those look like a dark, dark blue, almost black, grays, yellows, and oranges, a brown, a darker browns, and a white AB. And the white AB is just around the edges of the cat's eyes. Not very much of the white AB at all. So, this one should be a pretty quick one to complete. I would think so anyway. Like I said, I'm not very good at getting these back in the bags. Okay, we... One last look at our little kitty, and we are going to go on to the next one. Okay, this is one that I did pay full price on. I really, there's one more out at Walmart that I want to get, and it's the truck with the Christmas tree in it. I really do like that one. And I haven't got it yet. But I've got so many paintings right now that it might be a little bit maybe whenever it goes on clearance if they have any of that one left i might go out there and see i'm gonna go ahead and get this toolkit out of the way once again typical toolkit gray boat pink wax pin and a purple squishy this time I've got that partially opened for whenever we look at the drills here in just a minute. This one, I think, is going to be absolutely gorgeous. This is another one I got for my brother. I've got the bear and cub one by Diamond Dots that I'm going to try to do for him for Christmas along with this one. Okay, once again... We have our typical instructions. Tells you exactly how to diamond paint if you do not know how to do so. Let's get this rolled backwards so maybe it'll stay flat. Okay. So this one is called Floral Deer. And I think once all the colors are in on this one, it's going to pop. I really, really do. I love this painting. And I think that I am going to have so, so much fun working on this one. I really, really do. Okay, let's go ahead and flatten this. I don't know why I'm bothering straightening these out right now because for now I'm putting them in the boxes until I get my one out with all of my canvases in it. And these will all get numbered and put on the wheel. This one may be one that I just pick out to do because I do have a deadline on getting this one done. But isn't this deer just so adorable with the roses? 
my aunt, Valita, that I was named after, loved roses, and she had rose bushes in her yard, and she took great care of those. So, yeah, this is really, really pretty. I think that this is going to turn out absolutely wonderful. Love this painting. Okay, so we have one more painting in this video. And this one I'm kind of wanting to do for fall. Did y'all see where I put my knife at? Because I don't know where I put it at. Oh, not just here, honey. Okay, we forgot to look at the colors on that floral deer. And these are probably the brightest colors that we've had so far in this unboxing. So how dare I forget to show them to you. And then he, can you give me this weapon? And when I put them in the trash. What? God put a in the trash. On the next one, okay? Okay. Look at these. Oh, they're so pretty. <laughs> yes, they are so pretty. And then we need a bud sticker. <laughs> Look, Daddy, the bud sticker is on you. <laughs> yep. Here. Why don't you go? Then we got the greens, oranges, pinks. Yeah. More greens, Pink. more pinks. Oh, there's two pinks. There's a lot of pinks. What's your favorite color? Pink. Pink? Yes, and purple. You got that from Nanny, didn't you? Yeah. And then, look, I got orange, pink. Orange, pink. She's showing me her fingernails that she got painted. For the salon. From the salon? Yeah. <laughs> I got tiny that orange and pink. I'm an egg. These nice. ones are lost. The orange is the two ones okay. are lost. Let's see. Very, very nice color. And then, let me just, the pattern goes like this. Okay. Orange, pink, orange. This is Pink. I know that's a lot of cream clean, and I'm sorry. Okay. That's the pattern how it goes. So, we have one last one to do. Can we name it? This one's called Farmer's Market. Flowers Market. Farmer's Market. I just said it right. I just said it right. Yes. <laughs> Funny bees. Okay. Honey. He just fly there. Yep, the bee just flew there. Yeah. Okay. Fly around. <laughs> so this is the next one that we got. And the final one of my diamond dots, other than my great big one that I got from Hobby Lobby. I have not done the unboxing on uh, it Nanny, yet. I think my favorite color is orange and but pink. But I will. Can okay. we name the diamond painting? This one's the Farmer's Market. Farm. Knit. Market. Yep. Okay, so we've got our typical yeah. instructions. It just gives you step-by-step -step instructions on how to diamond yeah. paint if you need those. My little assistant is yeah. going to throw them in the trash. Use this bit. 
Look, Maddie. The reason she keeps asking me if we can name it is on the budget ones, we pick out a name for those. Yeah, so all that, of them. So that I can log them in my book. And along with the number of them. Can we just name the farm? But look at that. Isn't that a gorgeous painting? I love can this. We just I name love the flower. <laughs> this. I love the old timey truck. Can we name it's the It's got forty niners there. Josh might not like me very well for that on the truck, Daddy. but that's okay. Nanny. It's got the can truck the and the pumpkin? sunflowers and pumpkins. Can I name the pumpkins? And then the grass right here and stuff. And the... Bullet. Bullet. Okay, so we've got the barn right here, the grass, and the fence post is not part that you diamond paint okay so where were we at i was telling you the parts that were not diamond painted on this um did i show you the colors on this one i think that i did yeah the package looks like i opened it so i'm sure that i showed you all of the colors on this so that is all that I have today. If you like this video, please give me a like, subscribe, comment, let me know what you think of this video. Um, I would love to have you in our family here. Anyway, this one has this one actually has 40 colors. Okay, so I will see everyone next time. Everyone take care, have a wonderful week weekend whatever it is whenever you're watching this video i don't know when this is going to go up yet but i will be posting these soon so we are going to do a small little recap on this just to look at what we have here we have this cute little turtle love that i love all the colors in it this one is Black Cat, which is what Stardust would look like if she had short hair. We have our floral deer. And then we have the Farmer's Market. So these are just absolutely adorable paintings i love all of these so anyway everyone take care i will see you next time bye